I'm a scientist, but I'm super interested in reproductive health. This is the nexus of everything that's interesting. It's about sex and love and relationships and family and life aspirations and how people take care of their kids. Being a scientist that studies this means that I'm contributing data to something that's generally understudied and therefore there's a lot of potential to improve people's lives. I'm Diana Green Foster. I'm a demographer and reproductive health researcher. I study the causes and consequences of unintended pregnancy. So that means both the lengths couples go to to avert an unintended pregnancy and all of the subsequent consequences for their health and well-being and family. I'm most known for a study called the Turnaway Study. It was a collaborative effort that looked at people who all wanted an abortion. What was unique about the Turnaway Study really comes from the study design. By narrowing into two groups of people, some of whom were able to get a wanted abortion and some of whom were denied, so we tried to measure all the ways in which someone might be better off or worse off if they are able to access abortion. What we find is no long-term mental health differences between people who receive abortions and people who are denied. But we find very large differences in two other areas. One is in physical health. People who are denied abortions report more chronic pain, more hypertension, and overall worse health than people who receive an abortion. We also find a whole bunch of socioeconomic and life course differences. Those who are denied an abortion end up poorer. People who knew that they were going to have a child that they weren't ready for were less likely to set aspirational plans for the future. We shouldn't be surprised that when they're able to make that decision for themselves, their outcomes are better. I think reproductive health is sometimes seen as a political topic, but it really needs to be seen as a just basic fundamental right. It's about how we plan our families, plan our lives, have healthy pregnancies and good outcomes for parents and children.